tag company is Crystal Edge Technology Screens. We are the uh, makers of the Supreme 12, Supreme Exotic 15s, and also to uh, the new uh, Advanced Ambulant Projection 17 technology. All right, so um, today I'm going to be displaying front and rear capabilities of our new uh, Limitless Black Advanced Ambulant Projection. The FR stands for front and rear 17. This is using the Advanced Ambient Light technology. Uh, gain 17. So these are the containers right here. All jet black. And then I have two setups over here. I have actually, this is the, um, it was, it's not, it's, it is plexiglass, but it's kind of like a plastic. Uh, this is the, uh, the guards that they use for schools and so forth. So I thought this would be best to demonstrate the technology. So I have my Sony. Uh, projector here. This is a 5200 lumens. The reason why I'm using 5200 lumens is to show people that you don't have to worry about any lamp glare pushing it through and giving that blinding glare on the other end that disrupts the picture quality. So I'm going to pass through my kitchen and we're going to come up on the other end. There we have it over here. Set up. And we're going to start the demonstration for up there too before my Amazon goes into sleep mode. All right, so. We have it front projection and rear projection at the same time. Now, if you paint this on plexiglass, any form of transparent surface, it becomes rear projection. If you coat this on any surface that's not rear projection, then it becomes front projection. There we go. I'll put you up right there. show you how dark this stuff is. Just gonna pass it from the projector real quick. That's how black the screens are. It's one of the blackest screen paints uh, we've ever developed. Now you can't say paint because there's no paint in it. I have to say formula. There is no paint in this stuff at all. 17s are made a little bit different. Now I'm curious, I want a bigger, see here's the thing, I like those particular um, shields that they have because they have the stands on them. It makes it a lot easier for me to stand it up. If I can get a bigger um, sheet than that, I'm probably going to contact the company. I would probably like to have maybe, if I get away with maybe, I don't know, like a 5x6 or 4x6 would be really nice. And then I can set that up and I can run my gaming system off the back of that because I can just throw the projector off the short throw throw it in the back of it and just run it right through. Get you a little closer. Which I want you to be to see the screen over top and the screen at the bottom. And the reason why the screen is so thin I was going to paint it on a bigger one, but I made it thinner because I want you to be able to see also too, I want some of it to push up on the wall too. So you can see exactly how much advancement the technology gets back to your projector. Now there are instructions that comes with the technology. We email one version to you and then another one sent to you in the mail with your uh, with your product. Um, also too, let's add it real quick, we do have it on the website too also. This is a spray on application that does require a few requirements. If you're, you have to prime if you are painting this on any form of uh, non-transparent screen. And other than that, if it's transparent, you can just coat over top of it and you're pretty much done. Now keep in mind, when you are coating plexiglass or any kind of transparent surface, um, it does allow you to be able to adjust how dark you want the screen. So if you spray it the first time, every time you spray it, it gets darker and darker. Three coats is the max. So it gives you the option to be able to adjust how dark you may want it.
Now in this video, I'm going to pause this for a minute, and we're going to go over and mess around on the bottom screen for a little bit. So we'll pause this. Actually, I'm going to go back to the kitty cat. I'll go back there again. I'm going to take that one there. All right, so I'll pause it there. All right. And then we'll come over to shrink it down a little bit so we can play around the smaller screen down here. Right there. Now, on my remote control, because I don't have it set on the projector for rear. Because you can set your projectors for rear projection. And I don't have it set for that. So I have to remember that left is right and right is left. It's like having a little TV. So all the words are going to come up in reverse because I didn't get a chance to go over and set that up on the projector. I will be setting it up on that projector because that's when I'll be using. This technology can push white light right through the screen. Even though that screen is literally so dark, you can't see through it at all, period. It is that, literally that dark. And at the top, you can see the other screen right there, how bright it comes up, even shows the reflection. Let's come back here and let's grab something else. Got to remember left is right, right is left. Ooh, let's do the burning fireplace. That's another good reason why I made the screen so short so I can get in the Nevo if I want to. Right here, this is how dark it is. If I sit in front of this screen like so, you're just seeing the reflection of my remote control moving back and forth. That's what you're seeing. You can't see the carpet or nothing on the other end. All you're seeing is my reflection. That's it. That's all you can see. That's how dark this screen is. Nothing can transfer through except for the projector. That's it. So if you had this screen set up, like say if you did one for your storefront and you had it behind like, I don't know how they have a storefront fixture, they have all black fixture and you got a sheet of this up here coated with that technology, they can't see anything on the other side. They can't see the projector, they can't see lamp glare, they can't see nothing. The only thing that will push through that screen is the image that's coming off the projector. So at 5200 lumens, you don't see anything coming through. Also picks up an insane, insane gain, angle gain, with no problem. From one end to the next. I could set this up in my driveway right now. Drop all my lights in my driveway. And they literally would think there'd be a fire going off in my driveway right now. I guarantee I have a few people probably get out of their car to look at to see whether or not my driveway, there's a flame kicking off in my driveway. They couldn't tell. And this is also, too, going to be a great application for those who are going to be using this for stage performance, uh, Halloween displays, because you're not going to be able to see any white light reflecting off the screen because the screen is black. It's going to cloak into everything. That is going to be great to have. Let's see. The lowest lumens that you can use on rear or rear technology is a thousand. That's the lowest lumens you can use is a thousand. 
Because when we test our screens, this technology gets tested outside. The final test for any of this technology has to be tested outside on a thousand lumens. But if you're using this at nighttime, you're using this for a Halloween display, uh, you can use a portable uh, thousand lumen projector. Because it'll be nice. Somewhere you can tuck it at and hide it. Doesn't use a lot of power, especially if you got one that basically runs off a, um, of a battery pack. That'd be kind of nice. Um, I'll do a demonstration of that today with this screen right here uh, using the portable Sony projector. We'll do a demonstration with that. Yeah, you can use those right there. I'm going to have to do some gaming off of this now, the way I got it set up. We got to set it up for some gaming, but I need a bigger screen than this. I just got this for the time being. Now, these right here on Amazon are around $17. That's what they cost, around $17. I'm pretty sure they make them in bigger sizes. I just have to go back there and check um, and see what bigger sizes I can get. Just have to remember when you when you do this, you're gonna have to go in and change your settings and positioning or however many you have in your projector. You're gonna have to change it. I think it's uh, rear front is what changes it over. We'll do that later on today. Let me see. Let's go over to, uh, let's see if I can get to my menu here. There we go. See, everything's in reverse, so kind of got to like read it in the weirdest way possible. So everything is backwards, so I'm kind of reading it all backwards. You can kind of get used to it. You adjust a few projectors. I get projectors in there. We used to being hung upside down. And I had to just go through it upside down and just try to figure out where the menu was going to pop up at. And like I said, this technology is both front and rear. I keep forgetting, like I said, I got to go reverse it because one's front one. It's like if you go forward, you got to go backwards. So you have to remember everything is going the other way. All right, so I'm going to leave this one right here and let that play in the background while we go back up to the fish. Not fish, but the dinner fish the heck going on up here. So we'll do one on the portable projector I have here, which is my Sony. And I'll see if I can run my 200 lumen because I got a 200 lumen possible portable projector, which I'm kind of I'm kind of see if I can run it on this with no problem too. I should have no problem. Do a portable projector display on that. And see how the contrast level pulls up. If I go to um, LG Betafish. screen and the reason why that's reflecting because that surface is uncoated go right back kind of remember to be a little lower because I don't want to bump into my uh, overhead screen see right here you can see the lamp glare right from the projector because this hole is right there, right? Watch this. Go on. That's how much light's pushing through. F5200 lumens. When it hits that screen, it's gone. And this is after three coats. But that's the match you can do on the screen at three coats. It'll allow you to be able to adjust it on how dark you want it.
Let me keep forgetting it's vice versa. This. So we'll put this back over on, lay it on there for right now, while I run the top. So I'll be ordering a bigger piece today. I don't know what size, but try to get a reasonable size. Because this company right here, I mean, their, their prices are very, very reasonable. Every place I went at to try to get some kind of surface like that, they went so much money, it wasn't even funny how much money they wanted. Painted on a rear um, front projection only, and that's painted on plexiglass. To show you, the screen is two screens in one. Plus, it's ultra stroke so compatible and fully weatherproof, which means you can take these bad boys outside. Which I am planning to build myself a rear projection screen for outside use. I never had a rear projection screen outside. LG beta fish. LG beta fish. I can get one to pop up at the same time. Kind of hard to do these. I mean, sync them. Right, let me bring it back. Because I got two remote controls that look exactly the same. So I got to remember. Okay. All right. Let me see how we're going to do this. Yeah, it's about as close as I can get. Kind of hard to do with two remote controls that look exactly the same.
So this one's coming that way because it's in reverse, that's why. Because it's doing the rear. Once you switch it over, it'll do the exact same as the top. Just gotta switch it over to um, rear front. That's what you gotta switch it over to. And the only difference between the two is, this one is actually front and rear at the same time, and this one's just front because of the surface it's being coated on. We have one projector back here, making contact there, and the second one is back there. We gotta come up close on this one because like I said, it's all in in rear. So I'm actually looking at everything backwards as I'm staring at this. All right, I think I'm gonna switch this one over to that one. All right, that's perfect. Sony 4K demonstrations. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Um, that's a silver ticket. And back there, that's an elite screen. So yeah, you can. You can paint it to just by any surface you want. Upstairs, I got a few, I got a motorized projection screen in one room, 135 in another room. So yeah, you can paint it on just about anything you can think of. Let me see which one's which. Oh, I got the wrong one. I got two remote controls here. I got to figure out which one's which. Do, 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 they're both the same. Uh, let's do, uh, let me see. We're both on Sony's over here. Let's do that one, this one. And we'll go back to this one for that one. I'll bring this up because we're already halfway into this one. LG jazz demonstration. No problem. LG jazz demonstration. Here we go. That'll work.
That's the best I can do. Remember, I'm, one is, like I said, the bottom screen because I don't have it set for uh, front rear. I'm actually doing left is right and right is left. And the other one, I'm actually doing whatever forward is forward and back is back. But when you do it in a rear projection, it's the opposite. Uh, no problem, Chief. No problem. Now, like I said, if you want a black screen, we do have the 12s. Um, the 12s don't do rear projection, but like I said, they're amazing screens. This right here is actually, this is a 12. And just like as I have 17s in here, or 17s, which is the, uh, the Luminous, um, I'm still keeping my 12. I'm actually, one of my, my gaming screens upstairs, 135. Uh, it's going to remain a 12. I like the 12. So I'm trying to have each, one of each screen in the house. While this is running, we'll do some pass-throughs on the other screen. And this is actually, a lot of people don't believe this is made out of a bed sheet. It's a bed sheet projection screen. Told you I'm doing my screens out of bed sheets. I don't know where I'm gonna go buy expensive blackout cloth. I just go me to Walmart, get myself a gray or I don't care, print it. Bed sheet. That's it. That's what it's made out of. Ugh. It's a bed sheet. You don't have to have an expensive blackout cloth. You say, oh, but I have to have this particular blackout cloth. For what? You're painting over it. Whatever technology that was in it is gone once you paint over it. That's a bed sheet. You have no idea the stuff that you could paint this stuff on, to how much money you could save. I've done styrofoam projection screens. I mean, anything plastic. You don't have to really go out and say, I have to have this particular form of blackout cloth. No, it's a bed sheet. $9.44 for king size. If you could find a California King West, one of them, that's a big screen right there. That's a, that's a screen that can fit like what? I think seven people can sleep on a California King West. Yeah. Which I need to look that up now. Speaking about that, see if I can get my hands on a California King West. You don't need no Egyptian twine or whatever to call, whatever uh, thread count. Just need a bed sheet, that's it. That's all you need. idea how dark that screen is over top so they're darker than 12s they're actually the same com um, complexion there's actually they're about as dark as the border around a 12 or the border that came with that screen that's how dark they are now this one right here let me show you how dark these things are You can pull up. Wait, do I have the right one? Nope, remote control again. All right, here we go. Yeah, the ultra short throws is a good deal. I bought um I bought four of them 
four of those uh, ultra short throws. I got them throughout the entire house. Saved me a ton of money. Saved me a whole lot of money. Because uh, usually ultra short throw projectors are very, very expensive. In fact, you they're 180 bucks, 130 to 180 dollars. You can't beat that. And those are really, really good projectors. Actually, uh, usually when I use, I got a few downstairs. I got some Epson ultra short those downstairs, but I like these particular a lot better. And because that when you do the tabletop display, usually the problem that you run into when you try to do a tabletop display projection is that the screen doesn't lay correctly flat to the table it leans up a little bit so no matter how much you adjust the keystone it will not lay perfectly flat to the table it, it basically throws everything off especially when you want that nice flat design but these particular projectors have a tabletop mode on them that allows you to be able to project it to a table. And not only that, there's a stand that comes with it that allows you to set it up on a table. So I'll show you real quick. I got one here in the kitchen, not set up, but I got one with the stand. I bought the stand off Amazon for a hundred bucks. So that's right there, right there. And then it'll see that stand, it'll connect to that stand right there. That's a special stand that they have for it. So you can set it up on a table and you can actually watch your movies or do gameplay or anything you want. And it does have interactive software. If you get an interactive board, you can actually write and draw on the board and all that other cool stuff with it. I haven't found the rest of the accessories that went with it, but when I was reading through the uh, instruction manual, I was like, wait a minute, these things are designed for tables. You can put them on tables. Not only that, there's another piece that attaches onto the back of it, allows you to take the projector and swivel it and connect it to the table. So if you have a glass table, you can project an image right through the glass table. Now, can you imagine this black technology coated onto a glass table, I can project an image right through it without any of the lamp glare hitting me in the face. Well, you wouldn't have that problem anyway. If you use an ultra short throw, you wouldn't have a problem with the lamp glare smacking you in the face anyway. No, 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 it won't work on valve projectors. Usually our dark technology doesn't work well with um, those particular projectors, but the blue will work with it with no problem. Um, and what else do we have with it that work with? Black silvers will work with those projectors. Uh, that's basic. And then we had something. We have something that's still coming out. Um, it's called an ultra bright. It's like a high grain silver screen. Uh, we showed that off a few times. That will work with it, but no, this won't work with those projectors. It it, it still has. When you go in and you look at this this uh, particular technology. It will basically state what projectors it'll work with. Right. Other than that. This stuff is extremely super dark. So I'll show you. I'll pause this real quick. I'll show you how dark this stuff is. That's literally how dark the screen is. You can't see through it at all, period. The only thing that can penetrate through it is the projector. That's it. It's right there. Very few light can pass through it. So the reason why it's the way it's designed, it very little light can pass through this screen the way it's designed. So that way it kills any ambient light. So that means if you have this in a showroom and you have this, say you have this in a showroom, you have this up on a display, none of that ambient light will hit through the screen. The only thing that will come through that screen is the projector. That's the only thing that's designed to go through that screen. So if I go to... See? That's the only thing that can punch through it. But other than that, and we're gonna, the light's not gonna push through it. Okay, what's going on with the video? Hmm, let me see what's going on here. The video stopped playing for some reason. All right, can we get it to play, please? Let's see what's going on here. I got to bring down a smaller projector. That's what I got to do.
because that was a good. I'm gonna see if, if I'm gonna go farther than that. I got a 200 lumen pocket projector upstairs, and it's battery powered too. It's a Brookstone, um, 4K fish YouTube. I'm gonna see if I can bring that down and run through and watch some movies off of it. I'm gonna run my Fire Stick. By the way, you can run a Fire Stick to the back of a. Um, you can run a Fire Stick through a generic projector, like a lot of you not. I've done it a few times. You know, they'll work right through that with no problem. Push right through that image with no problem whatsoever. If I come over here and I uh, let me see if I can throw something in front of the projector real quick to block it from any light coming through, block up the projector. You don't see the rug, you just see my feet, and that's all you see. That's it. This is my baseboard right here. That's all you see. You can't see the carpet on the other end. Well, that's one for the blue burrito. Oh, man. Oh, let's see if I messed it up. No, I didn't bring it. Let me move this out of the way. That's one for the blue burrito. Coming through, I lifted up a little too high, caught my screen, came down behind me. Good thing it didn't strike me in the head. Could have killed me because, man, you get hit with that with all that weight, that'd have put me in the hospital. Uh, God is always watching. That's good. So as you can see, you can't see nothing on the other end. Nothing at all. That's the way it was designed. So as you paint this stuff, it's kind of like, I like using the Wagner 250 on it. Because the Wagner 250 is a really easy control paint sprayer. It's like uh, the equivalent of using an aerosol can. It is really easy. The 150... When they came out, I didn't like them too much because after the first use, they were fantastic. But the minute you dismantle, take it apart and clean it, put it back together, some parts didn't actually connect together well. And you would get these droplets that would actually uh, spew out of the front of the cannon, spray all over your screen. Massive droplets destroyed the screen. Didn't work well with me. But the 250, wow, freaking amazing. Comes out like an aerosol can. Comes out nice and smooth. So I like that right there. It paints real well. So the way this stuff is designed is that say if you don't want the screen this dark, you don't have to have it this dark. Because the formula is designed to go darker every time you add an application. So say you put the first application on, it kind of has a bit of a smoky look to it, and then it gets darker and darker. You can only put three coats on it, that's the max. This is three coats maxed out right now. So you can see when I get up on top of it, you can't see the projector. Let me get down a bit. So you can't see the projector or nothing on the other end. At all. So with, it's, it has many different uses because you're going to have people that are going to have. Imagine if you have like, I mean, for COVID, and we had some, we're going to have sneaker stores and stuff like that. But so you have a sneaker store display. And then they have that kind of like back background and everything. You can actually put that screen in there. They would never know it was sitting there the entire time because you can't see through it. And then I mean, you fire up the projector, you can put the display, the sneakers and the designs and all that stuff of it. When the store lights come on, it's not going to affect the screen at all whatsoever, period at all. That screen's designed to absorb light. So there's many different ways it can be used. Now, I can show you how to use, make a box screen, you rid of a box screen. Um, I'll show you how to do those. Those are fantastic if you want to set them up outside. I'll show you how to build a box screen. Those are pretty cool. All right, with that being said, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Um, this is, let me see, somebody came in and ordered a gallon last night. Yeah, we got to order more containers. Actually, I got to get busy and order containers now because these are already depleted. They're gone. Somebody ordered a gallon. These are gone. Somebody came in um, last night and ordered two quarts of it. So I'm going to have to get some more quarts of those, and we're out of containers altogether, so I can get ready for the next ship out date, which will be next week. Um, so um, I guess we'll be taking orders now. I just have to go back on and order more containers. All right, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Let me show you how black that screen is. That screen is crazy black. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your time. I have to go, and God bless.